All right, welcome back, boys and girls. This is Peter Renna coming at you with another vintage toy market watch. Uh, this is my second toy video series that I'm doing for Tales from the Flip Side, uh, and also on my own channel. Please like and subscribe to uh, both channels and help us out. Uh, and if you're like you know what I'm doing and what we're doing, please just let us know. Hit hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you want to see, uh, what you like, what you don't like, and uh, I'll try to you know put it in the videos going forward. Uh, this is not to be confused with my top 10 toys, uh, which there I'll pick a theme or subject and just kind of roll with uh, 10 choices that hit that theme. This vintage market watch uh, is basically me just looking at the toy market, seeing what's selling and things that catch my eye. Uh, I try to look at things from AFA graded to mint on card, new in box, loose, broken toys, parts, uh, weapons, any odd little tidbit uh, that you can find in the toy market that just kind of catches my eye. Uh, I'm would lean towards the 80s and the 70s and the 90s because that's when I grew up. That's the toys that I know best. And uh, so that's a lot what you're going to see. I might dip a little bit back a little further occasionally with some things that I remember, but uh, that's really my wheelhouse. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to start in on this list. And if you are watching this on my channel, hang around for a post credit scene to get a quick little honorable mention. So uh, with that said, uh, my first choice here is an AFA graded figure. I didn't want to go back to the Star Wars will again so quick. Particularly, I didn't want to go back to Boba Fett again so quick, having picked that last week from an AFA graded pick. But how could I ignore a $12,000 sale? $12,000. Just let that sink in for a second. Twelve grand for uh, an AFA 85 Boba Fett. It's just gorgeous figure. Uh, I'd love to own it, but twelve grand. That's craziness. But, hey, it is what it is. There's there's a market, and there's people willing to pay a lot of money for this stuff. So, you take a look at it here. It's a gorgeous card, unpunched, oh, just beautiful. And you check out that grade. There's the 85, near mint plus. It, it's, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous figure. But $12,000 is astounding to me. So, I had to put it on the list. I just had to. I, I just couldn't ignore it. So, there's my graded figure uh, for my picks this week. Then I'm going to roll my next selection on. Uh, I had a couple of options, things that caught my eye, but I'm going with a mint on card. And uh, this mint on card is the old uh, WWF Hasbro figures. This Dusty Rhodes, $2,700. $2,755.57 at auction with 31 bids. A lot of action on this bad boy. Uh, I remember this figure with the yellow polka dots and the you know the action. Those WWF figures weren't the greatest molds, or they didn't have a lot of uh, you know movement to them. They had their one little motion, and that was really it. But they were still pretty cool. I don't know if they're nearly three grand cool, but pretty cool nonetheless. So Dusty Rhodes he still has you know a lot of fans out there. I mean, his sons are still kicking it over on uh, AEW and uh, Dusty. I even raw, even a loose figure, I should say, not raw, a loose figure is still probably about 100 bucks for this one. So it's not the easiest one to find out of that uh, that line, but still, gorgeous card. Like, if you look at it, this is a nice, nice, clean card. You can see, you know, front and back, it was it was really uh, kept in well shape. So this would probably grade pretty high on AFA, but still, $2,700 is a lot of money for Dusty. But that's what sold. So there it is, hitting the list, $2,700 for Dusty. Uh, moving on and uh, showing that I'm uh, not biased only to the boy stuff. I've got a new inbox, Rainbow Bright. This is from 1983. This is uh, Twink Sprite. So, hey, never opened. Mint inbox. Well, maybe not mint inbox, but, you know, new inbox. $250 for this. Rainbow Bright. There's still a market. If you look, I think there was a box for sale for uh, her unicorn. Uh, I can't remember what its name was, but I think it's like $700 in asking price uh, right now. Just... Oddball things that you find, but Rainbow Bright, this box, and you can see this, as I wanted to correct myself before, not a mint in box. You check this box out. You can see it's been retaped, so this thing has been opened, but the box has been saved. Even if you look at the bottom of the box there, you can see a little, I don't know if that's water damage or, or what, smoke damage potentially for all I know. There, there's just some sort of damage there at that bottom of the box, but but people still want it. Uh, if you got a box, it's better than not having a box. You know, fun little doll, so, uh, you know. My wife was a, a big collector of this. She remembers of this when she was little. So uh, I, I felt the need to try to include you know, a little bit more of the girl toys perspective, too, because I remember a lot of this stuff. Uh, I knew you know girls when I was a kid. They had this stuff, the strawberry shortcakes and the rainbow brights. They lean more towards the Smurfs, and I enjoyed the Smurfs. So, you know, Gem and the Holograms is another good one. But this rainbow bright, 
Again, $250, not too shabby. So I'm going to move on from there and go with a loose choice. And uh, my loose figure I'm going with is Ninjor. Yeah, not very creative when, they, when we come to names for uh, a lot of these Masters of the Universe guys. They just kind of, what is he? Well, let's add an or or er to it. And, you know, all right, he's Skunk Or. Why? He's a skunk. He's Skunk Or. Fine. So this guy's a ninja. He's Ninjor. Still really cool. I remember having this one. He uh, had a bunch of weapons. Uh, this loose one that sold seems to be missing the nunchucks, but even so, $124 uh, for this loose ninja that it's almost complete. Uh, you can see you can take that little cloth part of the outfit off. He's got more of a samurai look to him, a little bit of a, you know, a Tashuri Mifune kind of a seven samurai look to him. But I don't get why he still has the monster feet. I That part I don't get, but they gave him the monster feet on this mold. Uh, so it looks more like a villain mold that they just repurposed the head and uh, made him ninja. Again, you can check out the box. It's pretty cool if you can find it in the box, but this was a loose sale. So loose, 125 bucks. And I think if you can have those nunchucks, you'll probably get a few bucks more to sell it as complete. Uh, but still, even in complete, these things still move. If you have a good bit of the pieces and are near complete, because there are completionists out there that will uh, pick up whatever they can find just to get the parts that they need. And uh, to that end, uh, my last pick here is a part. And uh, this is a, just a random $18 sale for this uh, 1986 Centurions. You know, they're calling it the anti-radar deflector you know, you know, part. Uh, basically, to me, this was just a gun. Uh, this was a gun. They can look at the loose parts that came with this figure. It's this one tiny piece here that went with the collection. So 18 bucks on its own with all those other bits that came in the set is uh, pretty impressive to me that you can find this in a junk pile, probably a junk pile of weapons and loose pieces at a, you know, somebody's old lunchbox that they have and they're selling at their yard sale. So keep an eye on these things because this is a cool toy line and I will try to catch this one on uh, top 10 toys eventually. But so if you look here, you know, at the figure complete, it was basically you have these action figures. You can add in all of these mechanical bits to kind of make and play with it how you want it to. So you can move things around, move the missiles here, move the weapons there, the wings, you know, all these different points on the figure where you can pop them into place. And you can see on this one, that uh, $18 gun that the, is missing is right there in the center of the chest. So 18 bucks just for that one little part. So you can think of how much the whole thing would sell for. But uh, so that's it. Those are the five things that I found this week that I uh, thought were pretty interesting. So, again, hopefully you enjoyed this and enjoy what I'm doing here. Uh, please, again, like and subscribe my channel, Tales from the Flip Side channel, and uh, let us know how we're doing. You know, feedback. Throw it at me. I, I, I want to know what you guys think, what you guys want to see. If you see some crazy sale or something that caught your interest, hit me up. You can hit me up on my Instagram, direct message me. I don't care. Hit me up in the comments here. Uh, however you want to contact me, I'm free, open to, you know, chat with just about anybody. So uh, just let me know. And uh Maybe we put it in uh, next week's. And uh, otherwise, maybe you got a concept or an idea for a top 10 toys, and I'll roll with that uh, idea for one of those coming up. So, again, let's keep this fun. And uh, it's toys, guys. Let's just enjoy it. So, thanks, and uh, see you guys next time.